Hello and welcome to my newest video. Today we'll be talking about rollers and I love rollers because you can get different looks by setting them differently, by brushing them out differently, and they're always changing and it's, it's so much fun. Um, I made this video to be one video but ended up being really long so I'm going to turn it into two videos. So stay tuned for that one. Um, Today I'm going to just talk about pillow rollers and sponge rollers. And so I'm going to do one half of my head with pillow rollers and one half with sponge rollers and show you what they look like side by side and see what the difference in the curls are. And so here we go, let's get on to the rollers. We need sponge rollers, pillow rollers, a comb, a clip. I'm using my Mizani foam wrap. Oh, and music, of course. So to start this one, I take an inch wide section, I spritz my Mizani foam wrap onto the ends, comb it through, and then I take my roller and I go about halfway down my hair, and I gently wrap it around the roller, um, not too tight because you don't want the ends to be fuzzy and you want it to be nice and smooth. Then I clip and roll the clip underneath of it so that it doesn't create a dent on the top of my head. Excuse me, on the top of my hair. Next, I follow the same kind of idea. Take about an inch wide section, spritz the foam wrap, comb it through, and about halfway down, I again take my roller and gently wrap it around. I use my finger to tuck the ends gently underneath of it so that they're nice and smooth. I follow the same pattern going down the back of my head as well. Dancing is always important when wrapping your hair because, you know, it keeps you entertained. <laughs> Next, I'm going to move on to the next section. I also take this by one inch sections, spritz my foam wrap on the ends, comb it through, and then roll it down. I'm going to show you on this one. Much like the other side, I put the roller about halfway down the hair as well, and then start rolling. I don't look at a mirror when I'm rolling, and I didn't realize I make some really crazy faces. <laughs> Sorry, I hope you guys enjoy those. Oh, more dancing. Going on to the back section, spritz the foam, comb it through, and again, going about halfway down the section and gently wrapping it around, just like the other side, using my finger to tuck those ends under. Continue on down the head. Also, the reason I make a bunch of goofy vases is because when I concentrate, I typically stick my tongue out. And to save you guys from me sticking my tongue out at you, I just make funny faces. So I hope you enjoy those. Now from showing you from the back perspective, again, I'm going about halfway down, gently rolling them around, and then wrapping it on down. Don't worry, if you happen to miss a piece, just go back and rewrap. And here is the finished set. Dancing is important. Next, I take my turban that I found at my local beauty supplier. I love this turban because it's nice and soft. You could also use a silk scarf it's just to protect the rollers and keep your hair from getting frizzy from tossing and turning all night. All right, time for bed. All right, now we're gonna take the rollers out. I like to take them out in a uniform pattern. And what I mean by that is I like to unroll them in the same direction. And what that does is it makes it so that when you're brushing the curls out, they form a little more easily and not so different directions. All right, and I do the pillow rollers the exact same way. I take them out all in the same direction as well. I unroll them a little bit and then gently untwist. As you can already see, these curlers tend to get the curls a little snugger to your head, a little more Shirley Temple, if you will. Oh, hello, curl. <laughs> Attack of the curl. Uh, yep, keep on rolling. Or unrolling, I guess. As you can already tell, one side's a little higher up than the other, but that's okay. That's what we're looking for. Oh, selfie!
All right, next I like to take my hands and I like to run them through the curls. And what that does is it breaks them up a little bit, gets rid of any potential snarls or tangles, and actually starts to form the pattern that I like as it goes. As you can see, the pillow roller side is a lot more tight and curly, whereas the other side is a little more loose, while still curly has a little looser pattern to it. Next, what I do is I take my amazing Lady Luck hair pomade and my brushes, and what I do is I, well, right now I'm trying to keep it apart. What I do is I take some Lady Luck pomade, work it through my hands, and then I work it through my hair, up on the top and through the bottom. It really helps get rid of any fuzz or frizz. It also helps flyaways, and I love it on my ends, especially right now, I need, I'm in desperate need of haircut. Ooh, hair. <laughs> and now I take my paddle brush and start brushing on the top, and then start brushing it under. And that starts forming this shape. And the key to this is just to keep brushing and moving until you find what looks right. And also, the, can, the more you brush it, the less fuzzy and frizzy it gets. Also, I like to use my hands to kind of work some of those curls into place. And now on this side, again with my Lady Luck pomade, I am running it through my hair to get those ends nice and smooth, and also on the top to get those flyaways because they're there, they're a little crazy. And again, brushing on the top and then underneath to start forming that shape. And again, there is no such thing as too much brushing. You could be gentle, I guess, because I guess you could eventually brush it out, but it's kind of hard to do. Next, I use my smoothing brush to kind of smooth them down. And then again, go back with my hands and place curls where I want them. This little section in the front gives me troubles every time. It ends up getting clipped back at times. But for the sake of this video, I'm leaving it down for you guys. Another key thing is not to fight the curls. If you fight them, they will fight you back. So really just finding what works for the curl and letting it do its thing. And here you go. You can see the pillow roller gets it a little more of a tighter curl and the sponge roller is a looser curl. Thank you so much for watching. I will probably post the next video on Thursday, so stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe so that you will know when all my newest stuff comes out. I will be starting to post mainly on Mondays so that you know when it's going to come out. Um, if you have any questions whatsoever about these two particular rollers, leave them below. I love answering your questions. And if you try one of these rollers, please send me pictures or videos or whatever you want to do. Uh, you can send them to me either at Little Antique Me on Instagram or now I'm on Facebook at Little Antique Me as well. And you can send me a picture there. I would love to see what you come up with. So stay tuned for the next roller set video.